Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Meeting here. Today we're going to continue our journey in Path of Evil. I apologize for the lack of video in the past couple days. I have been working on it, on, however I have been doing so unsuccessfully. What that means is not that I've been failing, it's that there is a glitch. So if you see, we were going to go to the jungle ruins here, and lately, like every couple times that I uh, attempt to go to these jungle ruins, this one and this one, when I go to this one there's a, a, a skill check. I can't remember what it is, I want to say it's listening. And if you succeed in it, for some reason, they teleport you way the hell over to the mountains that are over uh, on this side somewhere. Which is fine, because it's a mission you needed to do anyway, but you don't get in the ruins. So let's see if we can actually re reproduce this. If so, I'll exit and show you what I'm talking about. But here's the jungle ruins. And I was trying to go to this one and then that one, seeing if they were connected. Wasn't sure. Uh, but here you got a listening success. It is said by many that the jungles of Chult are the most dangerous place in Faerun. Insects bite and sting travelers almost constantly. The heat and humidity is almost unbearable, and the undergrowth contains a multitude of poisonous snakes. Up ahead is an area slightly less clogged with undergrowth than the jungle you have been trekking through. Listen success. Every once in a while you hear the roar of the large dinosaurs over the other jungle noises. Uh, expected uh, class level is 7 to 9. We're well above that. Uh, you press enter and if it behaves like it has been in the past couple days, we won't actually go to the jungle. We will go to another place where there's a tree, and you'll know that there's an error then at that point. Lost our buffs. Let's see here. Come on. Prove me right. Yeah, see, there's the tree. It's going to exit out of here because I want to show you where you're at. And it's not that we won't do the mission. I don't, I don't mind that it's the, the mission, but... We're not supposed to be here. We'll see how we teleported across the map. Uh, so this is clearly a glitch. And while I don't know how to solve it, uh, my solution is going to be once I show you where we're at, then we'll go back inside. We'll finish this side instead of the, the other one. So here we are. And right here, you see, you're at the Cloven Mountains, right next to the Wichelia Bridge, I want to say. Get the hell out of the way. Yeah. So we were all the way over on this other side of the water over here. So now, by default, we went inside here. So we're just going to go in anyway and say, screw it. We actually have a lore success for this one. The Clove Mountains get their name from the broad gap where the Winter Cloak River flows out of the deep wash. Lore success. The Cloven Mountains are known for Gobloid and Orc tribes. Pretty much telling you what you've been fighting. Expect a class level 6 to 8. So again, it's not something that was overpowering for us. It was just annoying that we were suddenly here and we weren't where we were supposed to be. So I don't know why it's been doing this. If it's something to do with the listen check, that's not good because that means now I'm stuck not being able to get inside the place I'm interest. Um, that's kind of a shame. So, but anyway, let's take a quick knee because I want to make sure everybody has their spells back. We won't buff up because I've already done this part. I already know what the hell to expect. Basically, there's this golden tree back here. And it's been attacked by orcs where they've stripped some of the branches off. And we're going to get a mission to get them back if we so choose. By talking to the night captain. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Avel, knight of the golden tree. Are you the support we requested? Um, yes. We were the support that was sent. Remind me of what needs to be done. Further of the past was taken over by an orc tribe. We arrived to find them trying to chop down the golden tree. They'd already cut down several branches. We fought them off and back to an ancient tomb further up the pass, but we're at a stalemate. They still control the pass and occasionally test us. I believe they are still interested in the tree. So what exactly needs to be done? Well, the orcs need to be routed, of course, to make the pass, well, passable. But the immediate thing is the recovery of the golden tree branches. One of the knights is a druid, and will be able to get graft the branches back, returning the golden tree to its natural state. I know you are adventurous and not nice, so the knights have authorized me to pay you 1500 gold for this work. Sure, why not? So, if we look at the quest, obtain me support sent to the aid of the Knight of the Golden Tree. You have been asked, been tasked with recovering branches from this tree that were taken by the orcs in the past. The knights also mentioned an ancient tomb the orcs are interested in. So, their tomb was a place that I haven't gone to, but I have messed with the orcs. And just to show you, there's really nothing over here. It's golden Tree, very pretty. Nothing of any merit that I found uh, checking out the area, so I won't waste you guys' time with it. But we will go to where the orcs are. So basically, if you, you know, let's just that way, pop up the map. If 
you see this trench, this path here, this is basically the path that you're supposed to take. So they're on the, uh, right around here and there, and then there's a, a entranceway. So that's basically the way we're going to go. Now, you can buff up in advance, and you're, you're being told that you're going to fight. So it would probably be a good idea, but I can actually get you there and show you where they're at. Um, but I'm going to do that uh, buffing off camera so you guys aren't wasting your time. I'll, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. We've all buffed up here. feel pretty good about it. And we're going to go find ourselves some more. The pathing over here is a little buggy. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. You come down the path, and you, oh yeah, there you go. You just light them up like a Christmas tree. Well, because they're standing in such a nice little pile, I've been, since I've done this mission a couple times, just to prove to myself that it really is a glitch, I pretty much know what to expect. So I'll basically just light them up like a Christmas tree with a big fireball spell, and boom, get a bunch. And these guys, they fall pretty quick. So we're clearly above level. Now there is a concern, and we'll come across that here as we're killing these guys off. You get gear, and the only real issue with it is that the gear is subpar in almost every instance. There's a couple items that are of merit, like a mace plus one and a, a shield. But by and large, uh, there's nothing that's going to be like, oh boy, we should totally keep that and pass that on to our team that I've found so far. I haven't been in there. That's the actual tomb that they were talking about. Um, it's locked and it is trapped. So, of course, we can get into it uh, with Kavasa's help, I'm sure. But, again, I haven't gone inside. It's got a big skull on the top, too. It looks pretty badass. Um, there is a path to the left of it that takes you further up the mountain. That's about as far as I got, and I stopped there. So once I realized that, yeah, this was the same glitch over and over again, and I'm like, not sure why it's doing it. It's got to be the listen check is sending us technically to the wrong spot. But if you look at the map here, uh, we have a path this way. I fought this entire map, so there's bad guys here, up and down the, the areas as you, you know, wind your way through. You can actually cut through this way. So smart man's bet would be to come up here, slaughter the stuff that's peppering you with arrows. You can hit them with range attacks kill these guys off, come through this way, sneak up behind everybody over this way, and destroy them reasonably easy. And that has been relatively successful for me. But you'll see what I'm talking about when we start getting up in the area. Our guys will just randomly start attacking stuff, and you'll be like, what the hell are you guys shooting at? And it's just, there is a bunch of bad guys in this area. See, right over there is one right there. Yeah. Matter of fact, We're gonna bum rush him. Okay, yeah, get out of my spells. Alright, uh, well, you guys gonna bump up nice and pretty for daddy? I know you want to. Well, we can take damage pool. Okay, like that. Nothing particularly stellar. And my team does a pretty I good job of whooping now. butt. At my word. Now, it's important that you march and go through reasonably most of the area. Uh, having said that, I mean, it's one of those where it's not that there's like hidden treasure or anything that I've found. But it's just it like, you know, like there's random head. guys that are just scattered. If you don't trigger them the right way, they'll basically be there forever as far as I can tell. And why not get the XP, right? So, exploration really does save your bacon on this one. You know, getting some decent gems, getting a little loot. From what I can tell, most of these things seem to be random. The gear you'll see will be like the traditional... I like these guys over here, we'll probably go find it. Uh, I want to say like leather or studded leather, nothing enchanted. Uh, you'll get um, some arrows and short bows, again, nothing worth keeping. If we could sell them all, you know, that'd be fine. We're getting some frost uh, bolts, that's pretty sweet. Gold and gems are always nice. Uh, I'll scale mill on occasion, but the mace and the Zalantar heavy shield seem to be um, taking the arrows too. Seem to be uh, reasonably common. But these uh, other items, yeah, not really worth keeping. I mean, if you wanted to come back and sell it, you could probably do that and make a tidy little amount of money. 
but by and large you get overweighted real quick and it's extremely annoying so over here you see some stuff lights up and you're like ooh something to mess with and it's just uh, animals deer there'll be guys peppered all along the ravines here trying to shoot us at distance yeah here comes the by my hand Boom. Gonna get a little lightning spell here. My clerical abilities. Oh, take damage. It's a work team. He gets. He is a little more bloodthirsty than he should, but uh, since we are probably going to go in here eventually, you know, we'll just clear out the whole area. There's nothing remotely horrible about this. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, there's a lot of them, and as you see, they're waiting for you to come up that path. And there's guys up here to shoot you as you come up that path. So basically, just if you're early enough level, you get, you know, kind of mowed over a little too easy. But we have such an overpowered team right now. Literally, the bolts and the arrows themselves are power enough to really just do the damage. No. I'm going to have these guys kind of hold up here. She has a slow spell. That will come in handy. What? He has a arc spell. That might be nice. That was a nice hit with that. This would be one of those missions. Uh, if you stumble across it early enough, yeah, I can see it being a problem. But that really doesn't bother me so much as the other. Here's one right up here. Oop, where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, see, guy hidden behind the thing. Kill him. Kill him with fire. My guy here is shooting with the wrong bolts at this point, I'm fairly certain. Yeah. He needs to be using those. I heard the ice strikes. I was wondering why the heck I was doing uh, ice attacks a couple of times I've done this mission. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing that for? And he had just the regular plus two bolts, more than capable of doing what we needed. And the dork is like switched over to the expensive frost bolt. Do some nice ice damage. I don't yeah. want to keep those if at all possible. Here we go. Yeah, so you guys just up on the ravine, like I said, looking to pepper you with bolts and such. Or arrows, excuse me. Lots and lots of arrows. And you can really range the hell out of these guys with just your own little bolts and such. Uh, I've done it, like I said, a couple of times now. And it's more than satisfactory to do the other way. I'm just keeping the stuff that's keep, gonna be light or worth something you know, a specific amount of something which is why you'll see me keeping things like the mace plus one and the Zalantar shields because I'm fairly certain I'll be able to sell those for some decent loot back town uh, but other than that we'll collect all this stuff and go down the ravines to make sure there's not a random group that I'm missing If you wanted to uh, take on this particular mission without the full complement of people that I have, the only decent way I see doing it would be going all range, you know, because you can light these guys up if you got a good enough attack uh, team. You can really like hit them like hard with arrows and bolts and whatnot. Um, doing it like that, if you had the protection from arrows spell, since many of them will engage at range. Uh, you can have that on your full team that lasts like per hour, if I'm not mistaken, per per caster level. So you can have a whole lot of fun with that. Make sure I'm not missing something. I haven't really explored like I probably should have. I got complacent. But uh, I am saving you guys the trouble of having to go and get every piece of, of gear, realizing that it was subpar gear. 
anything over here? Nothing that I can see. Okay, so let's just head back. Um, we're gonna go. Yeah, see, I'm overloaded, and that's just separate from all the gear that I've picked up. Yeah, he's picked up stuff that I didn't even want him to pick up. So I guess I did that earlier when paying attention. Alright, we'll pass off that. And the gems, of course. My main guy. And he's the one that actually uses the arrows. I use the frost ones. I can pass off all of them, but most of them. Your command. What? Okay. I shall lead us for now. So, with that though, like I said, we've, we've pretty much cleared out the area. We'll just take a look at the bodies, make sure we're not leaving anything behind. Uh, we're not going to try to pick up anything that's. You know, leather, bows, stuff of that nature. Yeah, we already got those guys. Well, there's one back here, one there. Unless it died and left nothing behind there. We picked it up already, I suppose. Yeah, here's our bus falling off us. Uh, I have been working on a more recent version of my mod. As a matter of fact, I can show you something kind of cool. If I, you yeah, give me a minute, I'm gonna pick up all this loot that's important to us, so I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I'm gonna push the bark again. I'll take that. More arrows. Yeah, you could really make like a, a freaking ton of money here if you were of a mind to just collect all this crap and take it back down uh, to another area where you could sell it. Uh, so that's kind of a shame that you can't, or that I'm not going to. But um, we're going to take the most important things, I think, and go from there. Good. Yeah, you get like a lot of maces, a lot of Xylentire shields. Um, so you can really, like I said, make a killing with some of the stuff that and stockpile your coffers with stuff that you wanted. Now, we were down here, we beat all that stuff, I'm fairly certain there's nothing but deer down there. Here's our transition zone for further up the pass, which we're about to go to. Um, I wanted you to see this though. Here is the, if we look at the map, it'll actually pop up as being the temple or such, the crypt, yeah, there he is. Love of the skull, uh, that, that looks nice. So, definitely creepy vibe and like you see here, it is locked. So if you back away, stay your blades. Well, Mr. Kavas, make sure everybody's doing their thing and put him on. Want that stealth there? Tech here. Put him on detect mode. It never seems to light up the trap for me until I activate the, you know, like that don't know why it does that um, but now you can activate and uh, you know, disconnect uh, the trap properly so I don't know what the trap well I guess I do know what the trap does critical failure Ooh, that sucks six divine that one too bad but now it's on uh, you can pick the lock get some XP for that and it's ready to go inside now we're not going to yet because we want to finish the, the first part of our mission which was going up the hill here. And again, why he keeps switching to his goddamn range, I do not understand this. Let's see, we'll check out his behavior one more time. He does this all the time, and it's really starting to annoy. Okay. Power spell casting. There, I'm at weapon switching. That should be for everybody. Keep it to that. Save it. Cause I really get tired of him doing that. I switched him to his weapon on purpose because he's a melee. Area. I don't mind him using his range, but it's not what he's built for. 
I can do so much more damage with him up in the front lines. Okay, so yeah, we were expecting this ambush, and like I said, this was about as far as I could cut. But you can see, we are in a big area with a lot of orcs. So it's going to be a pretty decent battle. And our guys are already peppering the orcs left and right. So grand scheme of things, let's actually see if we can't get a little bane going on here. guys are doing a good job. But the like the boss is not... Oh. Sorry, he's on hide and seek mode. Derp. I always forget when I do that, that he likes to stay there. Act like a dude. My little wizards are just doing a beat up job. The boss needs a little bit of help. I feel myself. That. All right, come on, team. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? They they go range. Now, I don't take everybody out in this area. Once I realized we were getting ambushed, I was like, well, I just probably stop it. But I checked this a couple times, and I was pretty satisfied with the uh, amount of carnage. Where the hell is he going? Oh. Ooh, shiny. Didn't see that the last time I was here. An alt. Oh, badass. That's got to be where we're headed. So, my team... Uh, Steps up. I'll bring you down to size. So before we get nuts, yeah, you can see there's more over there, and we have range abilities. Oh, that was a nice solid hit. So yeah, he'll he'll probably be dead before we get there with our omen. Yeah, see, look at that. Nice. Okay. I think we're pretty good. Let me try to grab some treasure. We'll come back for I stuff shall lead going us on for that now. way. But it looks like that's where we're headed, is the altar anyway. So we want to pick up our treasure. We don't want to get kicked out of the air without having our treasure. And again, is there anything that's lighting up? I didn't really inspect it all that much. Just the dead bodies. Yeah, here goes our spells. They don't last very long at this level, sadly. Arrow. We'll take all that. Another scimitar. You know, they gave you, I guess that, a reasonable amount of normal loot for coming through this area. More mace, Zalantar, heavy shield. It seems to be like a, a theme. And I'm okay with the theme. I mean, hell, everybody can't have the, the newest, bestest weapons ever, but it does get a little generic when you're picking up the same gear all the time. But, uh, who am I to complain? We got free stuff. Now you see, again, we have lots of stuff I carry that we'll be able to sell off. And it's heavy. And I haven't even been picking up all the stuff. So, imagine how bad that's going to get. The let him keep that. Uh, if I were to pick up the um, bows and the, uh, what do you call it, the... The generically normal weapons like the scimitars or uh, the armor and after a while I started in the last map I basically said screw this and I started going out of my way to not pick up stuff or drop it off like I think I I walked back down the hill and it was so slow when I the spells wore off me that I'm like it's not worth it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop them so I left a big pile before it got to this map. And then when I saw that we were being ambushed by more orcs, I'm like, yeah, okay, well, I guess we're done. But, uh, oh, hell, here's some more right here. Come on, orc, baby. 
Ooh, the Chieftain. This could be some just loot. Cleric. Another cleric. Oh, yeah, by the altar. That makes sense. Okay. We're gonna be wasting all the time healing them up. This could be a pretty gnarly fight uh, if you're not prepared for it. I can see this being bad. It's pretty nice work, guys. Armor and drone plus one. Whatever the hell that is. Yeah, you sure are, buddy. Yeah, 11 gold pieces. I wanted it. That mace does that entire heavy shield. Alright. We'll divvy up up here. Well, I want to see what this altar is all about. So we can click on it. Where's yes. the boss? Is this trapped or anything? Hmm. Huh. Doesn't appear to be. Ooh, orcish spear, skin, giant bee venom average, and a weak earth essence. Alright, I'm gonna have my main so. dude pick that up. Let's take a look at that real quick, and then we'll look at that other weapon we got from the orcish leader. Or chieftain. Orcish spear. Crafted from orcish magic out of a branch of the golden tree. Uh oh. This spear is vicious looking. Being orcish, it is of course further enchanted against their traditional enemy elves. In addition, a series of small spikes and hooks serve to ensure additional carnage when an opponent is struck. Damage bonus versus elf, 4. Damage bonus uh, piercing, 2. Just straight up for using it. And enhancement bonus plus 2. Oh, that's a nasty little weapon. Uh, and the bee venom, we're going to. Pass off to Kavos. Tell us the skin. Uh, for crafting, we'll just pass it off to him. Uh, we're doing okay. I'm getting a little low on bolts. How's she I'm doing? She's doing okay. I'm going to pass these ones. Oh, I'm going to pass the good ones off what? to me. So I'm really trying my best not to. Um use those uh, bolts of frostbite. Those things are pretty nice. I mean, it doesn't look like a whole lot of damage, but when you really need to down something and I'm out of spells, that's I prefer that over the frost uh, or the bolt plus twos, quite frankly, because that cold damage really does add up. I'm ready if you need me. Oh, so she's doing fine. Oh, she has this damn... She needs to just drop this. Should have done that a while ago. You guys are probably screaming at the TV. All right, let's identify that and I carry too much. We'll Love stuff you. off. She's more maces. Yeah, he's got a lot of junk. Now. All right, so she found that we have a chainmail plus two. Nothing remarkable really about that. The drone plus one though. This weapon bears a mark of a dwarf. Merrick, Master Blacksmith, and wears shining knight arms and armor. He forged it early in 1373 DR to aid the heroes who sought to free his quarantine city from the virulent grasp of the so called Wailing Death. Plus one, slow 50% of the time on a hit. DC 14 slows him for two rounds. Now, that's not a bad weapon. That's actually not a bad weapon for him. Now, is the Morning Star. No, it's actually. There's a morning star. Yes, it is. A single-handed weapon. Very nice. I'm not saying that that's going to be the weapon I keep on him. This is primary, I mean. Uh, but I can get rid of this Ironwood War Mace now. Yeah, I got that twice for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Okay. On uh, this, uh... Alchemical Silver Cougar. Yeah, just keep this in case I need a silver one. I don't have to care about that. He's overweight, uh, but his spell wore off him too, so that's part of the reason he's overweight. Uh, the plus two to strength goes a long way to help him out. So, and I can almost prove that by switching weapons. You see, that's a plus two to his strength from having the bow, which we don't normally use on him. I carry too much. And now he's overweight. So if he gets the strength spell, what do you call it, the enlarged person spell on him, his strength goes up enough that he overcomes that weight burden. So we're not doing horrible. What? 
uh, buff off off camera one more time, folks. I'll be right back. All right, folks, we are back. I right, buffed up, and you can see my weight restriction is not now. not there anymore for him. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, no, we can go back down the hill, and I think because we have the spear, that we have everything we need to finish off that mission with those guys down with the golden tree. I would, however, like to go back and check out what's inside that, uh, what do you call it, the crypt? Since it's on the way, I think we're going to do that. But what we're going to do, this video has probably been long enough as it is. I certainly apologize for the long explanations for stuff that, that has been done off camera already. But again, I don't understand why this glitch is happening other than it seemed to show up right about the time where I was passing all my listen checks. So you may see the same thing. Uh, hopefully we'll still be able to get into those areas uh, that are certainly blocked for me now. Because I'd hate to miss out on that content. But um, I haven't done anything else that would merit uh, a change like this. I did want to show you though, uh, sorry, wrong thing, some of the stuff that I had done for uh, being a cleric. I have uh, updated, like I had said I was going to, uh, cleric domain levels. I haven't done it for every spell, so there's going to be ones where it's missing. But for the spells that, that are currently for the domains that are available, I have added at least cleric domain levels, removed them from up here in the caster levels, and added them down there so it's more clear what the hell we're looking for. Uh, some were missing because so new um, cleric domains that were implemented with this patch that I've been using, or uh, something that was always there and they for whatever reason forgot to add it. Now some of these may be incorrect. Um, so you see right now this is a level 3 spell for air domain or storm domain or a druid. Obviously I'm a storm cleric and therefore I think for my air. Mm -hmm. War and destruction domain. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so one of these guys is adding to my ability to cast that spell. That's got to be a glitch of some kind, or just a typo. Maybe a word on me. The call lightning was something that should have been only those two. So again, good news. Stuff that I need to figure out and fix. Uh, there are other ones, like Death Ward. Uh, Death 3, Repose 3. Uh, got some nice, really nice spells in there. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Nothing that sticks out here. I know is it uh, Cure Light? What was it? Cure Serious? Yeah, Healing. There you go. Healing spell. Excuse me, the Healing Domain. You can get this at level 2. I'm obviously not. Otherwise, I'd be able to pick it sooner. Um, so I have to rely on being a level 3 cleric to slap that one in. And again, uh, going through as many as I can, if you see ones that are missing, like we just saw, this one's clearly not just these two. It's uh, something else, uh, probably the diabolical. Um, but I'll need to test them, and that's going to take some time. Uh, for the other ones, the ones that are uh, boring and they don't have anything, I am actually planning on literally saying a cleric domain levels like this, and then none, so that it's clear. There's no other way to get this spell other than the caster levels that you see. I think that'd be a nice addition. Uh, hopefully, you guys agree. Uh, but with that, I'm going to save here and exit out of the game. So with that, my name is Brother Mutant. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see you all soon. Bye now.